Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Patera with you. We're prepping everything for some bad weather. Well, we'll see if we get it. They, they don't know whether to wind their, uh, wind their butts or scratch their watch on this weather around here. So, we're prepping, but I'm also, well, I've got bad news and I've got good news. The unfortunate news is the video that you saw of the little silky baby number nine, it didn't make it. So we did everything we could. It was not, uh, it turned out, like I told you, the probably more issues than just having, um, you know, difficulties with its leg, spraddle leg. So, you know, you just chalk it up for experience, life and death on a homestead. So it didn't really suffer. We moved on. The positive news is, is when one door closes, another one opens on a homestead, right? God makes sure that happens for you. So we have another broody and we've waited to make sure that she is broody before, <laughs> before setting her. She's on eggs, but I'm not gonna let her hatch any more silkies. I want some uh, different mixes this time. So I've picked, handpicked uh, an Easter egg or uh, a white egg, which could be Ancona or Leghorn. Um, it's kind of big, so I'm thinking it's a Leghorn. And then um, a, a cream leg bar and then two brown eggs. One is speckled. So I'm gonna give her some new eggs. I'm gonna move her. I'm gonna reset her in my little, what I call the silky apartment. Miss Joan, who just hatched all these silkies, she broke broody. She wanted out. She was done. So I let her out. So I'm going to clean this up with fresh straw. I'm going to move this new broody, which by the way, I have named her Miss Pauletta. I named her after my good friend that you saw at the Great Appalachian Homesteading Conference who makes all the beautiful aprons. I'm going to link her down below so you can see what I'm talking about. We love you, Miss Pauletta. So I'm going to get set up here with this new broody. I'm going to give her some new eggs. Uh, let, it's getting dark, so that's a good time to move your broodies if you're going to move them to a new spot is when it's dark. It's kind of like they don't know what's going on. What hit you, baby? So that's what we're moving into right now. So let's take you in there and let's get Miss Pauletta set up. Go, Miss Pauletta. Let's do it. Okay, so this is what I'm working with. I'm only going to give her five eggs, okay? I'm going to see if she will take these five eggs. I hope it's not too many because, again, silkies are small, okay? Um, you know, we had no problems with the last silky taking those little nine little eggs in. I was concerned, uh, but she did it. But nonetheless, these are bigger eggs. So I'm only going to try to set her with five, okay? You know, and we're just going to wait and see how it goes the next couple of days with the weather and her broodiness. She may break with this cold weather coming in. I mean, 14 degrees, anything could happen. So we're just going to do the best we can, and we're going to press forth. Okay, so since we don't know exactly what it's going to do, which is every single time, I'm going ahead and prepping with all my straw. I'm just going to start packing my stalls, which we knew the cold was coming, so this was going to be done anyway. Uh, but they can't wait till tomorrow. So we're going to go and pack the straw. I'm going to pack the shed for the um, cows because that's where they've taken over now. So I'm not sure Moses is going to actually be down there permanently or not. May have to build something new. So I'm going to take you down there. We're going to throw some straw. So if you're wanting to keep your coops warm, if you're wanting to keep your animals warm, I have found straw to be the most effective. People ask me all the time, do you use pine shavings? Somewhat, mainly for little babies. Boy, I'm down here in the mud, hello. But I'm gonna tell you, straw is my best friend. Make it your best friend. This is the shed I was talking about that my goats were in when we got negative, negative six. That's cold for here. And I packed this with straw bales like this and I made it like an igloo and water didn't even freeze. It's really awesome. So, but my cows, they're a little hardy and it's not gonna be that bad, we hope. And if it is, we're prepared, we got it. So I'm gonna spread, spread, spread. What are you doing? Somebody in the loft? You always watch for somebody in the loft, don't you? You're a good boy, good boy. Very good boy. Okay, this should look familiar from the last few. Fresh DE and a lot of fresh straw. I went ahead and gave her six eggs. I hope she takes them. I have a, a fresh Moran egg today. So I went, hey, let's go for it. Fresh water, straw. Um, this is the area that's the little apartment. 
As you notice, Miss Joan is gone. So we're gonna go grab Miss Pauletta and see what she does. We're gonna turn off the lights. Let's see if she will take them. Easy, easy. Okay, easy. All right, right there. All right, guys, let's see what she does. We're gonna turn off the lights and leave her, okay? All right, that's what she was on. I may take those and put them in the incubator. And just hope and see what they do. I really want her to get on those eggs over there because I want some different chickens this time. She is hungry. So maybe when we close down the barn here in about two seconds, and turn off the lights. She'll rest right over in her clean little spot, okay? So we'll keep you posted. Let's pray for Miss Pauletta. Hey, Miss Pauletta.